Hello everybody, Zimatrix here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the auto legality bot into PK Hex. So there are three prerequisites you're going to need for this. First one is going to be an installation of Microsoft's Visual Studio 2017. I'll provide a link to that down in the description. It's easy to get and it's easy to download and install. Uh, and then the next things you're going to need are the PK Hex uh, GitHub zip, which you just come over here and you hit download zip. Save that somewhere for yourself. I already have the other zip here for the auto legality mod, but you will need to go to that page and download that. Now this set of instructions here, some people seem to get pretty confused about how to do it, what it all means. So I'm going to go ahead and explain that to you in very simple terms. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step process. It's actually going to get you through this a lot faster than those instructions. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to extract both of these here. Just click extract here. All right, once those are extracted, you're going to want to go into the PK Hex Auto Legality Mod folder, go into WinForms, copy all of these. Oh. Copy, thank you. And we're going to go to Master. Be sure you copy, that's going to make your life a lot easier. So then, just to show you what I'm doing, I'm going to PK Master, Wind Forms, and then just paste right down here. If some operating systems asks you, hey, do you want to merge files? Just say yes. Um, if it asks you to overwrite anything, that's going to be a little more interesting, because that shouldn't happen. Anyway, that, you're pretty much done here. So what you're going to need to do now, go back up to Master, PK Hex Master. You can see this PK Hex.sln. And that's going to be uh, associated with the Visual Studio. That's called a solution file. All you need to do is double click that. If it's your first time opening solution, I think a window pops up like confirming this or that. Just hit yes, okay, whatever. Of course, it's loading on my other screen, so I can't show you it loading. But it is loading everything up. I'll drink, bring it over to my main monitor as soon as it's actually done loading. Uh, it'll say like, loading parts, blah 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 blah, and then preparing a solution. All right, here we go. So once you open it up, it should like should look like this. If not, you might have installed the wrong version of Microsoft Studio, but with the link down in the description, it should be very easy to uh, figure that out. So uh, first thing you want to do, find this PK Hex WinForms over here on the sidebar here. Then you're going to go down to Miscellaneous, and then we're going to take this. I'm going to go ahead and hit Windows key left just to make things a little easier for us. I can probably hit Windows key right here. So this way we'll be able to see both and this will make things a lot easier for us. Go back up to the PK Hex Auto Legality mod. You're going to want to open WinForms and look in Mystic or Mystic Miscellaneous. Look at Miscellaneous. Uh, here's that file right here. So WinForm Miscellaneous. You're going to right click on that and you're going to click Add existing item. You're gonna to wanna to add everything here. I'm not sure if you can do all those at once. So PK Hex, WinForm, Miscellaneous. So let's see here. Arcit mod, IV to PID, and PKSM auto legality. You can control click all those and click add. It will all be added and bingo bongo, there you go. So let's go back over here. We're going to go up a folder, go to resources. Uh, same over here, go to resources. We just went into byte. So go into byte. You don't want to. Oh, right click on byte, add existing item. And then you got to do the same thing here WinForm, resources, byte. This is why I told you to keep this open because it shows you the path right here, making this a very simple process. So. You're also going to have to come down here and click all files and you're looking for uh, reset.pk7. Go ahead and add that. Wait for it to load. Right click on this or actually just left click on this. My, my bad. Left click on this and this will come up. All you have to do is uh, come here and click. Oh, sorry. In build action, click embedded resource. I was sitting there like, wait a minute, that wasn't right. All right, so you're gonna click embedded resource. That's all you have to do for that for now. Uh, and then we're gonna go back to resources and text. 
So let's minimize byte here and open up text. Then you're gonna wanna take right click, add existing item, evolutions, resources, text, evolutions. All right, you're gonna do the same thing for evolutions. I don't know why I always right click. You can come down to build action. You're gonna click embedded resource. Alrighty. And now, let's just make sure that was everything. Miscellaneous, you don't have to mess with bin, resources. That was all of it. All right, so now that you have all the files set up properly, there's one last thing that you have to take care of. We just got through all of this. All of that is now done. Well, okay, not these last two. These last two are what you're gonna need, or I guess three. These last three are gonna be the part that you're gonna need all of this for. Go ahead and copy this right here. We are going to use that. Let's full screen this, it'll make life a lot easier. All right, you're gonna come back over here. You're gonna go to main window in WinForms, and you're gonna wanna click this drop down and click main. Double click that so it loads over here. If this is how it looks and you starts using, or it says all these using statements up at the top, that is what it should look like. Uh, you're in the right place. Then you're gonna hit Control F. That's gonna bring up this little box over here. And you're gonna paste what we copied on the other page into there. You're gonna see private void click showdown import PKM, what you just pasted there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to this page. We're going to go right before the if. We are going to scroll down, we're going to copy. Uh, then we're going to head back over to our Visual Studio. We're going to go right before the if, and we're going to scroll. So highlight right before this if. Highlight down to this PKME tabs load showdown set set. Control V. I can't believe it took me that many tries to get this right. right I'm going to close this. And it shouldn't find any extra errors. If you do have extra errors, let me show you what that's gonna look like. Uh, if you do have extra errors, this is probably what it's gonna look like. You're gonna get some red lines and you're gonna get all sorts of red stuff along here. That probably means you messed something up. Just go ahead and hit Control Z until the paste is undone. Try again, make sure you get to the right place. Keep pasting, make sure there's no red along here. Uh, I'm going to ignore this yellow for now, and if something comes of it, then something comes of it. But I don't think anything will. All right, so now you can come all the way back up here to the Solution PK Hex 3 projects right here, all the way at the very top of this side list here. You're gonna right click on that, you're gonna hit Rebuild Solution. What that's gonna do, if everything is put together correctly, that's going to create your new exported files in I believe I believe it's somewhere within the win form. I want to say like uh let's see here. Win form resources nope miscellaneous I don't know. The page says it. Alright, so down here we'll say rebuild all three succeeded zero failed zero skipped. If you get that message at the end of this text, everything's fine. If not, something went wrong, you're going to have to try try again. Uh, let's go back to PKHex Master. And then I believe... I don't know, I'm just going to look it up. Let's see here. It puts it PKHex WinForms Bin Debug. There we go. So PKHex WinForms Bin Debug. Here is your working version of... Oh my goodness. AVG, I promise you it's okay. All right, I got AVG to leave me alone. But uh, here you go, I'm gonna go ahead and prove this to you, or prove, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that this is working. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut, cause I forgot to get that ready. Alrighty, so here I have my monotype bug team loaded up and I'm gonna go ahead and use this buzz swole because Buzzswoll has to have a specific met location with a specific level in specific games. A specific generation, anyway. So let's go ahead and go to Tools, Showdown, Import from Showdown, 
Make sure you post that and watch this thing do its magic. Oh, it already did. Holy crap. That was very fast. All right. So, uh, here you go. You have the same moves. I can... Oh, you can see that right there. Uh, da, 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 da. There's the moves, stats. Its stats are going to be the same. It's legal right there. Uh, met location, beast ball, ultra jungle. What the heck is ultra jungle? I haven't finished ultra moon in case you haven't figured that out. But it says ultra sun. I'm going to go ahead and switch that to ultra moon because that's the one I have. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch that back. Just go with whatever the hell it tells you. Um, level 60, uh, you can change the met date to something a little more reasonable than the day you generated it. Um, and, oh, there's another thing that you can do here. Uh, I don't remember how to set it up. So I'm gonna go ahead to my own setup version of my old one. All right, so trainer data. You want to make a, full, uh, a, a TXT file named trainer data .txt that has just these uh, three things in it. Uh, your TID, secret ID, and your original trainer name. The, whenever it generates a, uh, whenever it generates a Pokemon, sorry, I'm trying to like do this and talk at the same time. Whenever it generates a new Mon, it will automatically default to bin, diva, paste. It will automatically default to that. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little more of a complicated Pokemon up and show you how that works. Give me a moment. Alrighty, so here you see a shiny Eevee that knows Wish. You can only obtain Wish through chain breeding in Gen 4. So that's a little bit more of a complicated, uh, complicated thing to make. It's also shiny with perfect IVs. Oh, hold on. 31. Shiny with perfect IVs. So here we're going to go take this EV. Tools, showdown, import, yes. And it still manages to work its magic, making a legal mon. Met Alpha... What the hell? Okay, apparently you can get it in Alpha Sapphire from the Battle Resort. I was unaware. But, uh... There you go. From what I understood, you can only get Wish through Chain Breeding in Gen 4. I guess I'm wrong. Uh, I'm not sure what latest not OT handler it really means. I never bother changing it, and it always comes up with the OTs, Jacob. Uh... But here's the trainer ID, secret ID, and original trainer right there. You can see it's shiny. It's correct. I Did I put a gender here? I don't even think I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Male. All right, there's male. I would have preferred female. I don't know why I did that. But uh, there it is. There's your PK Hex working with the auto legality mod. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. See you next time. <laughs> It's such a stupid way to end the video.